Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today, what are we going to talk about today? First, let's talk about some coffee. No, I'm just kidding. That's my coffee. So we got a little bit of a long espresso here. Today, we've got something that is pretty unique. Something unique that I've seen. I mean, we're talking about borderline weaponry here. Today we're going to be looking at the Gladiator series. Uh, this is the Obliterator by Dow Strong. Okay, and so if you can tell, it comes packaged in a huge box. All right, so I've already opened this. I'm going to just open it up for you guys. This is uh, the Gladiator series Obliterator meat cleaver from Dow Strong. It's um, pretty cool because it also comes with uh, a, a display stand so some of you may say something about it I don't know here's the regular stuff that you get your cleaning cloth your pin um, details your books whatever um, warranty information and and that let's go ahead and start with the um, with the stand all right, so this right here retails for $109.99. Right now it's on sale for $99.99. It's uh, out of stock on their website. I have one. Lucky me, I guess. Okay, pull that out of this little bubble wrap. And here we have the Dow Strong holder. Okay, and so it's uh, a wood holder. Let me see if it says what kind of wood we're talking about here. Um, it's an acacia wood stand. So we've got an acacia wood stand, cool little Dow Strong badge on the front. Uh, that's actually the back so that you can see it. Handle goes this way, Dow Strong on it, nice embedded rubber feet. And let's get into the real meat of the meat and potatoes here. And so everything has a little sticker on it. It's got some weight to it, guys. Let's pull that out. More bubble wrap. And this is heavy. Wow, this is heavy. All right. All right, we're going to break out the Ozeri um, scale. Make sure we're in grams here. All right, we're in grams. Zeroed out. Care. That's massive. We're going to get it without the uh, scion on it. And so we're looking at um, 1.335 kilograms here. So a kilogram is like 2.2 pounds. So this thing is pretty massive. I'm going to go ahead and put it on pounds so you guys can see what it is. <clears throat> Almost 3 pounds. Wow. So this thing is massive. Turn it off. Almost 3 pounds. That is a lot of steel. So we've got the pocket wood handle. This of course is blade heavy. Uh, very, very massive spine on there um, with a taper towards the edge, the cutting edge. Um, the front is not sharpened even though it has that taper as well. I guess we have some um, holes cut in to sort of help with the, the weight. Maybe give it some rigidity in there. Mm. Excuse me while I drink some coffee. All right, so we got the massive Dow Strong Gladiator Series R. This is a 7CRMOV. 7CR17. Is that what it says? Yeah, 7CR17MOV. We've got the Dow Strong logo Gladiator Series on that one side, clean on the right side. 
very thick, fat handle. Um, let's put it in the stand so you guys can see. Again, you can put it with or without the um, holder or without the uh, sire. I believe it'll fit with the sire as well. And so that's sort of how it fits, how it holds. <laughs> this is definitely a talking piece. Let's see. Nice, smooth fit in the, uh, the little guard here. And it does not fit in the holder with the guard. So if you want a double protection, you're just going to have to live with showing it off, showing this bad boy off as it is. So we're like, we're talking about three pounds. Now what can we do with three pounds of steel? Well, we can probably crush through a lot of things. One of the knives that you probably have seen on my show before uh, was a Frederick Dick uh, bone cleaver. This would mirror sort of that bone cleaver. 7CR, we're going to have a little bit of a softer steel so it can handle uh, going into bone and, and meat, uh, maybe frozen meats without uh, the worrying about chipping. Um, it shouldn't be as uh, rigid as a VG10, but oh, it's pretty massive. It's pretty heavy. And so anybody who's going to be doing any kind of work with this, just be careful. Um, it's pretty badass. <laughs> I'm digging it. I dig the way it looks. I dig the way it feels, but it is massive. It is heavy. Uh, when you pull this out, you're definitely going to work. Um, don't know how, if I'd recommend putting this in your knife sheath or your your knife roll because it's huge and heavy. Um, this is definitely something that you may just leave on the counter wherever you plan on working from it. And I just, like an idiot, mark that up. But that's going to happen, especially if you try and load it in one-handed. Um, I don't know. What should I test out with this? Uh, give me some ideas here in the comments and I'll make another video trying this cleaver out. Um, I've worked with other cleavers, uh, Chinese style cleavers, vegetable cleavers. I even have some, uh, as I said, I've got a bone cleaver by Frederick Dick. I've got a Mercer uh, meat cleaver that I can show you guys as well in another video. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing sort of what I do with these types of cleavers, typically I'm just breaking down carcasses and things of that nature for stocks broths, that kind of stuff. Um, I know we usually will say stock when we're talking about dealing with bones, and this is the knife to do it. Um, if I'm doing a St. Louis cut on some ribs, uh, this is something I would go. I mean, that's just mostly cartilage that you'd be cutting through, and so this right here should go through it no problem. One fear that I would have at swinging a three pound uh, piece of metal into uh, my board is that uh, with polymer boards, I have split them. That happens quite frequently. Um, and on wood boards, I don't think I've ever done it. Um, so I probably would get a beater board that I can just use or maybe get some uh, plywood or something that you know you find at the, uh, at the hardware store and chop on that versus something nice and, and gorgeous sort of as a cherry wood board that I have here. But... I'm sure it can take the abuse. It is an edge grain, but this is almost three pounds of pure weight that you're using and swinging. Hopefully you have some control over it when you do it. But this thing's pretty awesome. Um, I'm digging the way it looks. Uh, it's definitely a showpiece. Uh, so if you're wanting to get one for the house at $100, it's a pretty cool uh, little investment. I don't know how often you're working on large pieces of meat and bones that need to be uh, taken down, but if you're into making ramen, if you're making any kind of pho, or uh, even if you're doing, like me, a lot of Korean dishes with bone stock and, and bone broths, this right here is a perfect, perfect tool for that. Um, going through seafood, cutting off the heads of things like that. Not people, but I mean fish. Uh, this is actually pretty handy here um, to keep it right here easy to get in and out uh, and it looks pretty nice so um, 
at three pounds, you don't have to worry about it going too far. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, I think I said it. We got pocket wood scales, left and right, and it's got the stainless steel butt, the little bolster. Same, looks like one piece. Looks like it's really well done. Fit and finish on the on the uh, scales and the handle are really good. Um, sharp edge. I don't know how sharp it is. It's pretty thick, but it looks like it'll go through some of the heavier meats thicker cuts and one fell chop and so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments I'll make a video I'll cut through a whole bunch of stuff with this in one swoop I'll see if I can uh, in one sw one swoop in one swing <laughs> one swing and we'll see what happens um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it in my studio because that might be pretty messy but maybe maybe for you guys I'll do it um, maybe I'll find, maybe I'll go outside and do it. Neighbors might look at me funny, but we'll see. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you looked, I hope you looked. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the Dow Strong Gladiator Series Obliterator. It's the Mighty Obliterator and uh, Cleaver and Stand. And again, that's acacia wood, that's pocket wood. And we've got a 7CR17 MOV steel. So it's going to handle those very tough jobs. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.